the lighting is giving detective in interrogation room. <laughs> Welcome to Books Around the World. I have a map and everything. This segment, um, I want to do it like every three months, something like that, and update it. My goal is to read books from every single country around the world. Now, this may take a while, and I don't have necessarily like a um, set time by which I want to finish. I just know when I started. Um, I started last year in like Ju July, June. Um, something like that, and I got a map as well. Ta -da! It's a, a world map, and as you can see, I scratch um, the countries from which I already read. Um, there's quite a few in Europe, but I don't know if you can see them. But this is my map. See how cute? So the goal is to fill the entire map and by fill I mean to scratch off every single country. I do have to mention that for Antarctica there are no books written by natives, at least not anything that I could find. So in order to scratch off that one, I don't just want to scratch off it, scratch it off automatically. Uh, in order to scratch off that part, I will um, I'll just look for a book that either has Antarctica in the title or for which um, the book focuses about the Antarctica. I hope that makes sense. So, uh, but in rest, I plan on reading a book from an author from each country, like I've said before. However, for the US, since it's such a large country, and my map is a political one, so it's divided by states as well, so I can see the states in the US, I plan on um, reading a book from an author from each state, so that feels a bit more fair, um, since it's again such a large country and there's so many different cultures within it. I just, I don't know, I feel like this makes the whole reading thing and the map thing just a little bit more exciting, because just scratching off US from the map is a lot. Also I do understand that a lot of the books, like the majority of the books that are on the market are from authors that are from an English-speaking country, so like either US, um, Great Britain or Australia, even though Australia is like less so, um, and Canada, let's not forget Canada, um, but I don't know, I, I, I really want to read from everywhere around the world, so that's how I'm going to do it. Also, this video is um, inspired by Emmy Reads. I'll link her um, channel in the description um, since I really found her videos really fun and I wanted to do the same thing. So yeah, let's get started. Since June last year, I've read from 11 different countries. Um, it might be more, but so far I've only been um, just counting books. Like, if I've already read from a country, I didn't count it again, because I know from Japan and South Korea I've read multiple books, uh, but I didn't count them. So starting this year, I will count those as well. It's just that on the map and in my notebook, I will only mark the first book from, the first, uh, from that country that I read. But I will keep track of the others as well, since I don't, I don't just want to read from a country and then give up on it. I want to read multiple things from one country, so um, yeah, I'll keep track of it from now on. So since June, like I said, I've read 11, uh, from 11 countries, and from the US, I read from nine states. So let's get started with the actual countries. These are my books from the 11 different countries. Uh, I will start in chronological order, and I'm, I will mention like the rating I gave each book, but I will not get too much into detail. I started with Japan. It was Before Your Memory Fades by uh, Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Fantastic book. I gave it a five stars. It was just so beautiful. Then I read again from Asia. I went to South Korea and I read Kim Ji Young, Born 1982 by Cho Namju. This is it. Again, five star, fantastic book. My um, um, reading around the world just started on a perfect um, 
just on a perfect height, I guess. So this was um, South Korea. Then everything went south. Um, this is Ireland. <laughs> this is Dublin Poems by Hugo Hamilton. And I will admit that I bought this um, just because of the cover. I got this from a second-hand bookstore that also sold new books that maybe were just like leftovers from, I don't know, bigger bookstores. Uh, but this book, it took me such a long time to read and I gave this book, where was it? Uh, I gave this book a 1.75. I rarely, rarely give books under two stars, like even two stars, I don't really do that. But this one, it was so bad. Like the cover, beautiful. Look at this blue, gorgeous. But the actual book, oh my God, it was so bad. I feel like it was the narrative. It felt both pretentious and like he didn't say anything in the end. Um, it just describes his life in Dublin with his partner and two children, but it's not really... I don't know, besides the fact that it wasn't interesting, at least for me, it just felt, I don't know, pretentious. That's all I got from this book, that it felt pretentious. And I read every single word from it. I don't skim books, and this one, I wish I would have. This, oh, so bad, do not recommend. Just, if it wasn't so pretty, goddammit. But this was Ireland. Um, and then I went to, what is this? Then I went to United Kingdom. Again, from now on, I will, I will not consider United Kingdom again because it is one of the predominantly published things. Like people publish more things in English and that makes sense. But um, next I went to the United Kingdom. And for that, I read Robinson Crusoe by Daniel Defoe. This is it, and I, I think this is the whole book, I think. Um, it might be a shortened version, but I'm not entirely sure because it doesn't say so. And also these pages are like humongous. Look at this, like reading a page from this is like reading two normal pages. So I do feel like this might be the entire book. Um, the art in the book that I have is really pretty, like the drawings and everything. But I gave this book, let me see, I gave it a 3.75. It was really nice in the beginning and I really enjoyed it. But then again, this was written a really, really long time ago. But at one point he gets like... um he gets like a slave and just his behavior towards him and at the end when they are when they escape from the island because it's the story of someone who drifted on an island uh, like an abandoned island and lived there for multiple years and in the end he does escape with a slave spoiler alert but again it's Robinson Crusoe it's been published like an eternity ago so I feel like I'm allowed to say, like, spoilers. Um, but anyway, in the end, they escape. And just his behavior towards the slave and everything is just... The ending made this book less great than the beginning, if that makes sense. So um, this was United Kingdom. And then I went to India with How to Kidnap the Rich by Rahul Raina. Um, this one here, again, five stars. I've talked about this book before. It's fantastic. Uh, one of my favorites from 2023. Um, it was just so well written and the narrative is fantastic. I do recommend. Then I went to South Africa with uh, Amanda Craig, who wrote The Other Side of You. This is a um, short story. It's a quick read. Um, Again, it didn't make sense for like the first half of the book, but then you you kind of get what is happening. Um, it wasn't fantastic. I gave it a 3.5, um, which is a good score, but I didn't like it that much. It was just, it was fine. 
I guess. It, it wasn't that impressive. Then I went to Estonia. This is Jelly Berries by Hello Mand. I am definitely butchering the name and I'm so sorry. Um, this one here. And this is basically a children's book, as you can see. Like, and children, I mean like toddler level children. Um, but this was it. And the art is really pretty. Uh, the um, the short stories are really nice. It's about Mary and her family. Um, and just, it talks about all the members and some little adventures they get into. It's a really, it's a lovely book. It's a children's book. I don't know what to tell you, but this was Estonian. Then we have Romania with poems by um, Mihai Minescu, which is a Romanian poet and writer, uh, one of the most famous ones. Um, it was fine. I mostly read it so I could scratch Romania off the list. It wasn't great. Uh, some of the poems that were chosen to be put here, um, I don't know, I didn't really like them, but others were good. Again, I studied this in school, so um, I don't particularly like the author, which is kind of mean, but when you're forced to study him, they kind of lose their charm, you know. Then we have China. Uh, this is UFO in Her Eyes by Xiao Lu Gu. This one here. And I like this book. I gave this book a 3.75. Overall, it was nice. I feel like it could have been written a little bit better. It, um, it like talks in files. Uh, there are two or three agents um, from the National Security and Intelligence Agency. Uh, that just go to a city where there's um, talk about a UFO sighting and they go there, they return like three times and it's um, it's written through like an interrogation. It's like you hear the case files, well here, you read the case files and you try to make up like who's telling the truth and what happened and it's interesting because um, like I said, they come back like three times. They go once and then they wait, I don't know, like a year or like a few months and then they go back and so on. And you kind of get to see how the people's life progresses. And overall, I really love the idea. I love the, um, it just felt more interactive somehow. And I love um, mysteries because I felt like this is somehow a mystery. It's not really, but it somehow is. Um, but I just felt like it's, it's lacking a little bit. It could have been better. Um, I don't know, maybe the writing, developing the characters a little more. Um, but overall, this was nice. This was from China. I really want to read, um, more books from China. Like that is an objective because I feel like Japan and South Korea are so easy for me to both find and enjoy because I don't know, their writing is just close to my heart, but I, I really want to read more from China and other, just other countries in Asia. Also, I really want to delve more into like Pakistan, uh, all of those that end in Stan, but also go to like uh, Thailand, Indonesia, all of those. Like, I really want to read more books from that area. Um, yeah, this was China. The last book from my world map from the countries uh, is uh, Light Years by Tamar Stein. Can you see this? It's, it's a library book that I bought from secondhand again, because this was discarded and I love it. It's about secondhand books because you see, they have so much personality. And this book I loved, it was nice. I'll talk about it in my January wrap up, but I gave this a 3.75 stars. And this is from Israel, by the way, it is an Israeli American author, but I did consider this Israel because I'm pretty sure the author was born in Israel. So this was like years and this was the last of the uh, countries, then we go into the US portion. So taking them in order, 
for the US, I first read from Texas. Again, all of the authors that I'm going to talk about from the US, as well as the whole map, are what I found on Google. So I really tried. There are some books where I have no idea where the author is from. So I just didn't include them in my map. So I might have read more, but you know, just I don't include them here. Uh, the first one from the US is from Texas with So You Want to Talk About Race by Yeoma Olu. At one point, I will Google the authors and how to pronounce their names, but this is Texas. Um, it was a nice book. It talks about race. Um, I expected more from it, but overall, it was fine. It was a nice read. Um, I gave this a 3.75 stars and yeah it was nice it's um uh, it's good if you want to dabble into ideas of race and talking about race but again i expected a little bit more from this then we have new jersey and we have our snakes necessary by brian de palma and susan lehman um two authors i don't really read books by th two authors um this i gave 4.25 stars really good book it was really funny at some parts like there's a lot of parts that I um, tabbed as you can see and I just there's so much misogyny in this book that I couldn't possibly give it a five star it's just so so much and I don't know if it's from Brian or from Susan but Someone decided to add just a ton of misogyny at some point, and I didn't particularly love that. But overall, the narrative, the story in itself, um, follows multiple people, and I don't know, it was, it was a nice read. So this was New Jersey, yeah. After that, we have Washington, which at first I wrote down Seattle because I thought that was the state, but I'm European, so forgiven. Um, it was Lesson in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. Uh, again, I've talked about this before. Five stars, tabbed it like crazy. Um, just such a good book. I recommend it to anyone. It is a bit on the long side, but fantastic book. Genuinely recommend. From Louisiana, we have another five stars. It's Red, White, and Royal Blue. It's a book everyone knows. Um, it's about an LGBTQ love story between two guys. Um, love that they're not 14 and it's like older because I feel like every book nowadays is about 14 year olds uh, so this was a nice change of pace and yeah this was Louisiana from New York we have If the Witness Lied uh, by Carolyn B. Cooney I think yeah this was a five star from 2023 um, great book I love the um, the writing, um, just overall great book. Another five stars, we have Montana. Yeah, Montana, Dr. Wright by Janet Tronstad, a book that um, I will not be telling people this in real life that I gave this a five stars, but it is our little secret. I just, I loved it. It was so, it was a fun read. It, it's a Hallmark movie basically, but it's, it's a fun read. This was Montana. Also, I didn't know that was even a state in the US. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but that's what Google said. Uh, then we have Maryland with Secret Santa. One of the worst books I've read in 2023. So bad. Again, it's just the writing feels very, I want to say high school, but that feels mean, but also it feels elementary school. Like this is a school project assignment this is what this book felt like it was so bad i'm never rereading this ever it's really bad don't recommend like mm. and it also has a movie which i feel like it's it's just so rude i i don't know why it this thing has a movie from maryland i have snow is falling by nora roberts uh this is a yeah this is a collection of two stories um one of them about a pregnant woman that gets um, stuck in a snowy road and a man that helps her. And the other about a fashion model um, 
that just marries a tycoon, like fan fiction, basically. Uh, but very well written. I gave this a, what was it, 4.75. Like, it's really cheesy, and I don't usually read romance, but this was really well written, so I did like that. Um, and yeah, this was Marilyn. And the last book from the US and the whole video, I guess, is uh, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Uh, and this is from Pennsylvania. I gave this a 2.75. Again, this is a Longman classic uh, and is basically a shorter version of the actual book. When I bought this again from a secondhand bookstore, I did not realize this was the short edition. Um, but it was still nice to dabble into it. Um, I did spoil the entire book for myself with this. Because why not? But I do want to read the whole book at one point. Um, it seems interesting. The dynamic between the sisters also seems like um, something I could get behind and just their different personalities. Even though I've spoiled the entire book for me and I don't particularly like two of the plots. Um, but I do feel like I should give the whole book just a go. So that was it. I do plan to read more and I will keep track of the books better because I do want to have, maybe I'll make like an Excel file or like a Notion spread where I can re record all the books that I've read. So I know from like Japan, I've read this many books, from South Korea, this many. Um, I do plan to read more diverse this year, but also not really, because a lot of the books I bought are from secondhand, and again, a lot of American or British authors. Um, so my map won't really get scratched off, but I do have Russia, and Russia I don't think is divided in states, so I'll just get to scratch off the whole thing, and that's like a big part of the map. Because when I scratched off China, it was this huge chunk that just became colored. And yeah, I just, I really look forward to it. So this was my books around the world. If you have any recommendations of like countries or books or authors that you'd like me to read or look into, please leave them down below. Um, also like and uh, subscribe if you like the video for um, other videos in the future. And yeah, that was it. Thanks for watching. Um, be good, do good. I don't remember my last catchphrase. And um, bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.